Hi, so welcome back to Bummer Town. This is the... Maybe it's the last episode. We'll see. When we left off, we saw this uh, godforsaken looking thing. Hey. Um, you're not a local, are you? <laughs> is that obvious? I'm not a local. I'm not even sure where I am. I was just going to the fridge and somehow ended up in this cave. I have a hunch that this is not my game anymore. The one I came from was more violent and action-packed. I need to find a way to go back to my game or else my wife will kill me. I can already see her screaming face. Where have you been? Burr, burr, blah, blah. Were you trying to escape this game? <laughs> Why can't you summon the diamond, the destroyer of the worlds? Why are you still a necrolite, not a warlock? <laughs> she just keeps on going. One second, on the th second thought, I'll just stay here. Ah, what the hell? Music 50. Um. Music. Okay, hold on. Okay, options. Music. 50. Sound 10. Ambient 100. Okay. Six. Eight. One. Six eighty one. Okay. Oh, that's weird. I had to do that. But it gave me the key. Um, I'm sorry, what the hell? I, it feels like I've been locked in here for at least five years. <laughs> Hello? Is there anybody out there? Hello? Hello? Oh god, this looks like a brain. I feel so lost. There's a green one. Okay, we failed nine times before. It only took four months to create this place. This is a really weird way to go about the giving clues and stuff, but it's funny. This, God, this place looks gross. Oh. I can do this. Come on, come on, come on, let me in. This sucks. Goal. Mechanics. Uh, uh, fire. Crystal. No. Ear. Pizza. Swear word. Evolution. Swear word. <laughs> Why? Quit. EOL. EOL? Why? I mean, I'm glad it's pixelated, but why? I don't know what EOL is. Okay, let's just get out of here. I can't. Okay, I gotta figure this out. Excuse me? You said way too much. What? Red, green, and then hazel. Okay. Red, green, hazel. Okay. God, please stop talking. It's so. Oh, God, stop, stop. It's too much. I don't like that little chatter. Ooh. 
Thank you. Okay, even this is better with flying babies going by. Got it. Let's get to the door. This isn't weird at all. I'm not weirded out. I am perfectly okay. There's a Game Boy. Oh, hello. Ah, hey, you over there. Could you give me a hand? Yeah, are you Bedford? There's no time for a Q&A, kid. Help me. All right, all right. What should I do? Something logical. Try playing that game machine. After all, it's there for a reason. Maybe it'll do something. Okay, hold on. Hurry up. I don't want to be erased. Um... This is weird. Oh, I got hit with something. And I keep getting hit with stuff. I don't know what to do. Do I just have to keep playing? Oh! Okay. Bye. <laughs> he just came right back. What happened? Those slobs didn't program a bad ending. We have a second chance. Try playing better this time, kid. Oh, okay. There. Come on, let's go get out of here. Excuse me. Can I not move? I'm certain there are hidden doors somewhere here. Ah. It feels... That looks weird. Okay, quickly, come here. He looks like he was groping the wall. Oh, I'm not in control anymore. It's weird. Thanks for saving me back there. I was close to beginning to being erased from existence. We should be here, safe in here. Are you Bedford? As you can tell from my speech bubbles, my name tag, I am. Oh, thank God. I finally found you. Finding you is the main objective of this game. The goal that I, as the main character, must achieve. I guess I just did it. What game? What are you talking about? Kid, You ha um, have you caught the pixel flu or something? Because you're delirious. You know, I am a doctor. I may be able to help you. Um, no thanks. Denzel already told me about your doctoring methods. Anyway, I was talking about the game we're in. Um, I was brought on... It was bought on a platform from Steam, or it was pirated. How could anyone have bought this game through Steam? It's... This game isn't even finished, and I don't think I will ever will be. It was left to rot months ago. I'm not so sure. From my perspective, it's more or less finished. I walk around collecting items, talking to people. You know, classic adventure, genre game stuff. What genre? What is going on here? What is this game called? According to the title screen, it's called Welcome to Bummer Town. Bummer Town? Those bastards, those idiots, what have they done with this game? Kid, you've been tricked. In fact, everyone playing this game was tricked as well. If I were them, I'd request immediate refund. I don't think I'm following you. All right, let me start from the beginning. My name, as you already know, is Bedford. And many months ago, I signed a contract with the developers for a role in this game. I was supposed to be the main protagonist, a character based on a real-life person from a real world. They promised me glory, fame, and riches. They told me the game will be a massive hit. Naturally, I agreed since I trusted them. But in reality, it turned out that they were incapable of finishing it. So what we are left with was a chaotic mess of an unfinished game. Well, I fixed a lot of things along the way. Way. Maybe everything is not so bad. Sure, there are some glitches here and there, but kid, you don't understand. What I'm trying to tell you, you're playing a wrong game. This whole glitch cliche and the uh, avalanche of bugs are not design choices uh, or an inside joke. It's not meant to work that way because it wasn't programmed like this on purpose. This so-called Welcome to Bummertown game was built on top of the other game, my game, the one I was cast for originally. It was called My Neighbor Who Once Was a Doctor But Then Became a Farmer. The title was so long it didn't even fit the text box. In fact, I'm pretty sure if someone would search for the search the internet for it, they would find an abandoned dev, dev log on some forum. The question that still remains are why did they rename the game and put it on Steam? And why are you here? I'm here because they hired me to find you. Yet they never told me why you ran away in the first place. It's because I got sick and tired of their nonsense. They changed this game millions of times. They added new things. Then they removed 
those things. And then they added them again and then they completely redesigned the game. And then they went back to the old formula. It seemed like this madness would never end. They were revamping this game every week. But with every new update, the game got worse and worse. And I couldn't stand it anymore because their promises of riches and fame were fading away quickly. So I decided to run away. However, this world is a complete wreck. So I was unable to find a way to escape it and almost got erased completely. I'm guessing they still hope to finish it. But we were unable to find me in their spaghetti code. That's why they hired you to find me. Their irreplaceable mean character. <laughs> Pride is a deadly sin, Mr. Bedford. Long time no see. How are you doing? <laughs> how am I doing? You still have curiosity to ask me how I'm doing. You two brain dead idiots ruined my life. Now, now, Mr. Bedford, not everything was so bad, was it? It wasn't that bad. You were pushing me around as if I was some cheap mobile game asset, and I am a professional playable character of the highest caliber. You should be thankful I've even agreed to participate in your lousy project. If I would have now, if I would have now this, no, I guess it's supposed to be known, this game would turn into an abomination. I would never have signed up with you two degenerates. Mr. Bedford, no need for insults. We are all professionals here. Thank you, Miss Workman, for helping us find this man. Uh, so just because you came crawling back to me, you think I'll agree to go back to my role in your game? Forget about it. That train is long gone. Don't be so naive, Mr. Bedford. You still think we give a damn about this game? I'm confused. Well, let us explain some things. Bedford ran away, and we were obviously unable to find him. For weeks, we were thinking of a logical solution to find you, Mr. Bedford, but then we came up with a brilliant plan. We changed some things within the game, renamed it, and put it on Steam as a regular game. We hoped that at least one unsuspecting person would buy this so-called game, download it, and find you for us. All while thinking that... They were simply playing a video game. I guess we should thank you the most, player behind the screen. But if you don't want me back, why did you want to find me? Because NPCPA started investigating us. Non-player characters. <laughs> okay, what? Uh, the non-playable character protection agency. Every single NPC in our game is unhappy with their working conditions. They say that we're inhuman. Sure, we broke a few laws, and the working conditions may at maybe at the lower end, but we did it for a good cause. Money. If the NPCPA would find out about this little world, we would go behind bars for a long time. That's why we needed to find Bedford so he wouldn't rat us out. You used me? How could you? We don't want to go to jail because we're abysmal game developers. <laughs> That's why we'll blow this world up with all of you in it. Goodbye. Well, that was nice knowing you, kid, for the whole few minutes. I guess it would have been better if you had never found me in the first place. <laughs> what a shitty end. What the f Bomb failed to detonate technical information. The bomb code was written in Italian, not in actual programming language. You tell me you fixed just the bomb's code. If it wasn't for your messy design, maybe I would have known what in the world I was doing. Oh, so it's my fault now. Yeah, if you weren't such a lousy designer, we would have been millionaires by now. I'm not even half as bad of a designer as you are a programmer. What did you say? You heard me, John Carmack. Come here. Ouch, that hurts. I'll show you. Oh, no, not the face. Um, so, um, our fight is, our flight is in an hour, and since our evil plan failed, I guess that's it. Bye. Bye. Woo! Fantastic. What an ending. Brilliant job. Outstanding. Idiots. Hey, wait, you said this game is on Steam? Yep. Great. I'll just leave a little review on their page. Goddamn idiots. <laughs> is this really the end? Guess I'll go too. Achievement unlocked. Not so lazy achievement. Rest in peace. My neighbor who once was a doctor but is now a far... Oh, God. He wasn't kidding. It didn't even fit on there. Guys, thanks so much. That was the ending. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to, you know, uninstall this game forever now. Uh, <laughs> I do... Okay, first, who's the most important in this town? Oh, my gosh. Really? Why am I on this list? I said I don't participate in this nonsense. So I think every one of these guys are going to have their say. Third. 
Oh god. I my name for crying out loud. Lizard people might see it. Angelina. I say none of these people has any class. That's a shame. And of course the fabulous bartender. Oh my god, twerking granny. You saw me dancing, that means you owe me money. <laughs> is that how it works? Oh no, I forgot my lines again. I think the billboard is probably my famous fleet. It's my, my favorite. He's got to be on there somewhere. Cliff. He just don't say nothing and then, oh, he just vomits and passes out. There's Mac, the lazy worker. Me's chicken. I'm a freaking chicken. I'm a freaking chicken. Buck, 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 buck. Yeah. George, again, it's me again. The name of George deserves more time on the screen. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is Vengeance going to bring your son back to you? I have a son. I need a new job. Oh, you probably really do. And then the bunnies. What are you looking at, bub? Okay, where's the stupid bunny? Blurfy. Beat a kid before I shoot you. Wait. I guess Fuzzball was the stupid bunny. What are you even doing? Are you? What kind of dance is that? <laughs> he doesn't say anything. George yet again. Also, my name should be bigger. <laughs> bigger! <laughs> hey... Put some pants on, Walter. Duh. I have me hammer. I hope he doesn't have, like, all those children are going to be on there. Why are you still not promoted? <laughs> Endless yapping, you know? <laughs> That's funny. If by chance someone is reading this, please send us help. <laughs> nope. I'm uninstalling the game. I'm not kidding. Sincerely, Bedford. Bye. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, um, if you watched through all the credits, congratulations. That is the end of the game. That was the ending to the game. We will see you on the next playthrough, guys. Have a wonderful afternoon, day, night, whatever it is. Bye.